reason why you shouldn't cut off a mole at home is because most likely you're going to remove just the top and not the mole root. So eventually it's going to grow back. But if a doctor removes it completely without any cells left behind, that mole is not going to grow back. But also, the doctor will typically send the mole to a lab, so you'll know earlier than later if it's skin cancer or not. Subscribe. Inside an ink tag are tiny glass vials filled with ink. But the thing is, those vials sit under spring-loaded pins. If you try to drill or force the tag open, that pin's going to shift and shatter the vial, and then the ink spills out really fast. And it's no ordinary ink. It's made to never wash out. Some people think they can outsmart it by freezing the ink tag, but actually, freezing makes the glass vials more brittle, so one wrong move, they're gonna shatter even faster. And that ink is designed to stay liquid even in cold temperature. It's not gonna freeze. When you break a bone, your body starts forming a blood clot around the break, right? Kind of like a natural bandage. And then special cells form a soft callus around the fracture. And then when you get a cast, that cast immobilizes your bone, meaning it keeps it aligned. And that's key because bone cells need a stable environment in order to reconnect. And then over some weeks, the soft callus gets replaced with new hard bone. But if you ignore a broken bone and don't get a cast, well then, subscribe to hear what happens next. One puff of vape can trigger chemical burns inside your lungs. The thing is, those oils and flavor chemicals inside e-cigarettes were originally designed for eating, not inhaling. So when you inhale it, what happens is, they coat your lungs like grease inside a pan. But your lungs weren't made to be greasy, right? So with long-term use, you get airway scarring and cellular death. And eventually, it's gonna feel like you're breathing through a straw forever. Your thumb is what makes your hand a hand. It does 40 to 50% of your hand's work. It serves as an anchor for basically everything from holding tools, writing, eating. Your thumb can touch all other fingers, but your other fingers can't claim the same. It's the reason why you can swipe your phone. That's why if you had to lose one finger, the thumb is the one you want to keep. So most people say four fingers and a thumb as if they don't consider the thumb to be a finger. Thing is, fingers have three bones each, but your thumb has just two. But also, fingers can move up, down, and a little sideways, but your thumb it can also rotate and move across your palm in a diagonal path. The reason is it has a special saddle-shaped joint at its base and its own set of muscles and tendons in the palm. That's that little padded bump under your thumb. Your other fingers just don't have that. It doesn't need to see you, it can feel you, and it can track you even in pitch black, muddy water. The thing is, it has tiny pressure sensors on its jaw, which can pick up the tiniest ripples, like sonar. One splash or even a footstep near the riverbank and it's locked on. And that's how the crocodile can strike with perfect timing. Subscribe.